What up, y'all? It's your guy Dawson from D&D TV. Thank you for rating, commenting, and subscribing. Everybody who's donated, those of you all who will, you know I appreciate it. All that information is in the description box below. Make sure you go over to my other YouTube channel, Dawson Speaks. Subscribe over there and hit the little bell next to the subscribe button so you get notifications when I drop a new video. Now let's get into this topic. All right, y'all. Thanks for clicking on the video. Hope everyone is doing well. Now, this video is for educational purposes. So as I approach this topic with respect, I need you all to please, please, please be respectful in my comment section. Thanks. All right. All right. Now, a lot of you have been hitting me up about this particular topic, about this pastor, Pastor John B. Lowe out in Indiana. And you all, I've been busy. I heard the story when it first came out. But now that I have time, let's deal with it. Pastor John B. Lowe II has resigned from the New Life Christian Church in Indiana. On Sunday, he stood up to tell the congregation that he committed adultery 20 years ago when he was in his late 30s. Pastor John Lowe is 65 years old, and he asked the church for forgiveness. Then he received a standing ovation. <laughs> Only in the church you can get away with everything. Now look here. Then Bobby Gephardt, 43 years old, and her husband Nate Gephardt stood up in front of the church and her husband said, if you love us, let us talk. Then Bobby proceeded to tell how the pastor had groomed her. She said that she was 16 years old when the pastor took her virginity on his office floor and at the time he was 38 years old. Take a breath. Oh, everybody needs to come to the Lord's house. Everybody needs to come to worship at the church. Everybody, oh, don't, don't, do not forsake to assemble yourself. Come and get your healing at the church. Come to a church where you all who are in a building, you all are in that building, the house of worship. And none of you all can discern that the pastor is having sex in his office with a 16-year-old girl. And don't just say this just happened in Indiana. You're a damn lie. It happened in Alabama. Remember the story I did of the pastor who was inside the sanctuary and his office? And when he ran out of lube, he used holy oil, the blessing oil, the olive oil as lube. Remember the pastors up in Toledo, Ohio? Y'all don't want to remember that, but I do. When that young lady said that she had sex in his office, how is it that you all can know everything and God tells you this and the Lord spoke to my heart and the spirit laid it on my chest, but you can't discern that they raping children and having sex in the church office. That's why I don't go to any of your churches. That's one of the main reasons people don't go to church now. Oh, y'all church hurt. No, they're hurting the children in the church. They're raping and molesting the children. And you're not getting it. You don't want to get it. And some of you will probably say, like some people have come on my show and said, and they got blocked. Oh, well, maybe, you know, maybe she wore a revealing shirt. Maybe she had on Daisy Dukes or her pants was too tight. Oh, maybe the boy, you know, he probably wanted, he probably looked older than what he was. Or maybe, you know, the girl was too fast. Or maybe the boy had a little sugar in his tank. You all are disgusting for thinking like that. Children are off limits. I don't I don't get I don't get it. And the church pedophiles can hide in the church. People who go after your young boys and your young girls, they could go to the church. People who want to manipulate gullible women in the church who are waiting for their bull ass. They're safe in the church. But you all can see everything in the world and tell everybody they're going to hell. And you know when Jesus coming back, what he going to wear, what he going to have on. And some of you all will come on my comments and you will tell me that you spend time with Jesus. You meditate. You have worship and communion. But you mean to tell me nowhere in that? Does the Lord reveal to you what's going on in the church house? What's going on in your house with the people you love? Not for the world. Let's talk about your house, your church, your place of worship. You don't see nothing in there, but you could tell us everything. That's why I don't listen to half of you. I think you're a joke. And so does everyone else. Because you can't come and tell me what the Lord said, but the Lord didn't tell you that your pastor had been committing adultery on his wife for 20 years? That he was sleeping with a 16-year-old, took her virginity on the office floor in the church? 
Now, let me end this story. Let me get back to my reporter voice. You know, when you talk about the children, I get all, you know, I, I just lose it because I don't see, I know adult. What you want with it? Come on, bruh. Really? Bobby Gephardt, 43 years old, told the church that she had been living in shame for years to protect Pastor John Lowe II. After she left the stage with her husband, Nate, Pastor John Lowe II then confessed that what she was saying was true. Now, I did read a news report, and they said that they are investigating this situation, even though it happened years ago. But I want to say to Bobby and her husband, Nate Gephardt, you all, thank you for your boldness. Thank you for speaking out because your video has gone viral. Everyone is talking about it. And I hope what this story has done, this video that Bobby did with her husband, that had, it's everywhere. I hope what this has done has forced people, no matter where you are, especially in these religious institutions who've been abused mentally, physically, and sexually, stand up, say what happened to you. A lot of you all hit me up and you want me to tell your story. That's not my job. It happened to you. You do it. You got access to social media. You got YouTube. You got to tell your own story. All right. Until next time, it's your guy Dawson. Take care of yourself and each other. Go off in the comments. Let me know how you feel about this story. Peace.